Welcome back to another YouTube video. If this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Steph Ventura and I'm the Psychic Soul Empowerment Coach. What I do as the Psychic Soul Empowerment Coach is basically I work with men and women from all over the world to help them to live life more authentically as who they truly are on a soul level, on a higher self level. I support them with really being able to reach their potential in life and to really help them to understand what powerful creators that they truly are and that they can make their wildest dreams come true. So that's how I help people. Here on my YouTube channel, the videos that I cover are typically on the subjects of mindset, healing, manifestation, um, spiritual entrepreneurship, spiritual activism, energy readings such as this one today, personal thoughts and experiences, just like whatever I feel called to speak about and create a video around. So if these are things that interest you and you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below and make sure you hit the little bell notification icon and change your settings to all so that you're always notified of when I upload videos here on my channel because you might miss out on videos that might be really helpful to you, okay? Now, before I get into the video today um, and do my weekly energy reading, I want to do my announcements first and foremost as I do on my videos. So any timestamps you might need will be here in the comments of this video, as well as any relevant links to work with me, to join any of my communities, to uh, follow me on social media. So all the information you might need from me is in the comments of this video pinned to the very top, okay? With that said, I just wanna remind everyone that if anyone ever reaches out to you on the social medias with my name, if you see Steph and her coaching on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook or what, whatever, and they, for whatever reason, say that they read negative energy around you or they wanna give you a reading or any of that kind of stuff, that's not me, okay, that's a scammer, so just be aware that I'm the legit person and I don't reach out to people in this way. And if I ever get guided to reach out to someone, <laughs> I don't go about it in the sketchy, like just inappropriate ways that some of these people do. So um, if you need to confirm my identity, that it's truly me reaching out to you, come back to YouTube, click on the links at the bottom of the videos here in the comments and see if it redirects you to my true actual account. Okay, I only have one account on the social medias. So just wanted to say that real quick and remind everyone. I'll try to remind everyone moving forward of um, this in all the videos, just so we're all on the same page, but I might forget, okay? All right, so for my first official announcement though, um, number one, I just wanna remind everyone that this upcoming week on the Awoke community, I'm going to be doing a class on um, business done your way, okay? So this is for you if you want to be supported in understanding how you can create business and have a successful business doing things that feel good to you without necessarily following anyone's particular strategy. Okay, so if that speaks to you, join that class. It's a, it's a master class slash workshop. Um, and so we would love to have you there. And this is being hosted live on the Awoke community, okay? So RSVP to that if that speaks to you. Um, the next thing is that on Thursday, March 31st, so the day after my class, um, Maggie Fromm from Awoke and I, we will be doing a class together. And this class is all around accessing your inner leader. And basically what that is, is it's a class that follows up with uh, the master class that we did last week, okay, which was all around high level soul aligned leadership. Okay, so if you haven't yet watched that master class, I will put it up here in the card section for you to go and watch afterwards. But this class that we're doing this upcoming week on Thursday is all around accessing your inner leader and basically what that is is it's um, a workshop to really support you in connecting with your higher self so that you can really develop your intuition connection to who you truly are and be able to use that to guide you in business and throughout your life okay so that follows up on what we spoke about in the first master class so if that speaks to you be sure to RSVP to that in on Awoke, okay, so you have to be a member of Awoke for you to access that live, okay? Uh, if you don't know what Awoke is and it's your first time hearing about Awoke ever, I will put up here two videos, one in which I interview Maggie and I ask her about her original intention behind creating Awoke and you can hear directly from her and then the other video follows up with me giving you a kind of video tutorial of what Awoke looks like uh, behind the scenes once you've signed up, how to navigate the platform, how to go about signing up um, correctly, etc. So you can go check those out if it speaks to you, okay? And um, 
I think that's it for my third. Oh yeah, announcement number three. Another reminder real quick, okay? Um, if you haven't heard yet, okay, my 2022 yearly energy reading that breaks down 2022 month by month by month, okay? This reading is 20% off. Uh, so if you feel called to receive that reading, then please go ahead and sign up at the links below. And we would love to have you there um, as part of this community that's following the 2022 yearly energy reading. And basically, that reading is different from the monthly energy readings that I do here on YouTube um, because that energy reading is specific to helping you really grow and evolve and navigate your own spiritual journey and the things that each month might bring so that you can really continuously become greater versions of yourself month after month. And as you do that, you're going to be able to, you know, manifest some amazing things this year. Uh, make your dreams come true, just like quantum leap and just do so many amazing things as a result of following that guidance from the 2022 yearly reading, okay? So it's 20% 20, 20 off because we've just finished the first quarter, um, but you can go ahead and sign up for it if it speaks to you, if you're ready to up-level your life and just completely, you know, turn things around. I updated the sales page, so if you checked it out in the past and, um, you know, for whatever reason, you can go back and check it now. I've changed the sales page a little bit. Um, so yeah, you know, we would love to have you there. Okay, that's basically it. Um, I think I'm ready to start the weekly energy reading, okay? Okay, so um, for March 27th through April 2nd, 2022, this is what I got. Hopefully my video here isn't too, I don't know, grainy or anything because I'm filming at night but I wanted to get this done today, <laughs> which is March 26th, Saturday, um, because I wanna get it up on Sunday and so y'all can get this on time for the first time in like three weeks. <laughs> okay, um, so here's the reading for March 27th through April 2nd, okay? This week is going to require you to really stand in your power, okay? The reason for that is that as we enter this new month we're like shifting out of march and stepping into april so as we shift into the month of april okay we're going to be faced or presented with opportunities to claim an all new future and if you watched my april 2022 energy reading here on youtube okay i'll put that up here in the cards um but if you watch that i talked about like so many amazing things happening in april potentially okay like abundance and increase adventures that kind of stuff right so uh, in order to move us in that direction of that, okay, this week you're going to be presented with opportunities to claim an all-new future. So you need to get clear on what it is that you seek, seek to create, do, be, and have in April. Okay, so take some time this week to get clarity around like what is it you want to create in April? What is it you want to do? What is it that you, like who is it that you want to be in April or who you need to be to create and do these things? Um, what is it that you want to have in April? You want to receive in April. Who do you need to be to receive those things? Okay, you need to get clear on these things more or less because um, it's gonna benefit you to do so, okay? I'll get into that in just a second. But um, what they also said is, let your wildest dreams guide you, which was so interesting because the shirt that I'm wearing today says, dreams come true. I'm too lazy to stand up right now for you to see it, but it says dreams come true and you need to believe me, okay? <laughs> Um, so, you know, with that said, okay, all of this said, like, you have the ability to create a new reality. I've already told you what to expect in April, more or less, okay? They want you to re really remember that you need to show up differently. If you want to create these things, do these things, have these things, have an amazing adventure, prosperity, abundance, all these good things in April, you need to show up differently, okay? Um, so based on what it is that you want to experience in April that you've taken time to get clear around, um, write, and like, I know it's really easy for everyone to make like a list of a bajillion things that they wanna do, create, have, whatever, in April, like, okay, don't go crazy. <laughs> like, don't overwhelm yourself. Don't try to do all the things that you, you know, are gonna do in a year, in a month. Okay, so be mindful of that. Okay, what do you truly want and feel called to 
make happen manifest experience in April okay and I got here that you know like at the most you should maybe write down four things that are really important to you that you really feel like it's time okay um, so from those things that you've gotten clear okay on your list you need to write down two to three changes that you feel you will need to make to align yourself with these future goals and desires etc okay um, so that could be, I don't know, two to three changes per thing because they could be different intentions or desires for you and maybe they'll require different changes from you on your part, I don't know, or just two or three changes overall, whatever it may be, okay? But you need to decide like, okay, these are the things I need to start doing differently to make this happen in April. And then you must really just wrap your head around and decide that you will Start taking these action steps and do what you got to do to make it happen and that you will experience this reality, okay? Because also the reason that they said wrap your head around making these changes is because some people feel like making the changes is too hard or it's going to take too long or it's like they have all these stories around making the changes. Like I can't do it, I don't have time or it's just too hard or I don't have the energy or whatever it may be, right? So you need to really wrap your head around and decide like, no, I'm making these changes. I'm doing these changes because I'm committed to this reality, and we're going to experience this in April. No more doubts. No more questions about it, you know? That's what you have to, you know, feel inside of yourself. Think and believe and stuff. And so this week, okay, last week of March and first couple of days of April, it's a really great time for you to set these intentions and to start implementing them and decide to level up, Okay? And that is how you're going to really stand in your power this week. And so that is the energy reading. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pull some cards and see if I get any additional messages. All right, so these are the cards that I got. I'm not sure if you're going to like this, but whatever. I'm just the messenger. This is Radha, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship harmony and healing. And then... This one like came out face up. This one came out on the ground face down and this is Melchizedek, higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. And then these other two cards came out face down um, and one is trust your vibes and the other one is don't hate meditate. Okay, so I don't know if you're gonna like this message but whatever I'm here to just say what I got to say okay basically in order for you to really stand strong in your power and claim these new realities and, or this new reality and experience these amazing things and you know just have your best life you're gonna have to drop some stuff I don't know what it is that you've been dealing with that has been impacting your ability to make these dreams come true but whatever it is specific to you you need to let that go you need to work through that you need to heal through that like you need to be committed and determined to no longer let this affect you bring you down hold you back anymore like whatever I am committed and determined to healing this, to releasing this, to moving on beyond this. Like, I'm over it. I'm moving forward. It's time. It's my time. I'm claiming my, you know, reality. And, like, you are ready to put in the work to let that go. Because this is also part of the reason why some of you are struggling to make the changes you need to make in your lives. Because there's something inside of you that needs to be resolved and healed to move on so you don't unconsciously self-sabotage so this is asking you like whatever remaining healing you have to do like you it's like you i don't know if this is the best word for it but one time i think it was maybe even like a couple years ago this woman reached out to me that I had connected with in a like first my first ever business um, coaching group coaching program that I took part in. OK, 
when I was baby coach. And we became friends, and then we didn't talk for a few years. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, she just messaged me and told me something like, because she's psychic. She said, um, in order to, it was something like, in order to claim the life you want, you have to give up the life you have, or something like that. Which basically was like, you have to give up who you've been, give up your ego, give up your identity, give up like all of this stuff, like you have to die <laughs> and be reborn. So that is kind of like this feeling that I'm getting from this is like, some of y'all need to die and be reborn <laughs> and you so you need to like move beyond whatever deep wound stuff or whatever and just be like i am releasing this i am moving on beyond this and i'm moving forward okay um so take the time take the time to look within sorry it's, it's night time i'm using a ring light um, take the time to look within and see what other stuff is going on there. So, okay, some of y'all need deep healing, and then some of y'all need to just introspect, self-reflect. See what remaining patterns you have that you need to drop and move forward. See what new habits or routines or rituals you need to adopt and put them into place, right? It's like two different people um, here. But either way, you know, there's something you got to let go of in order to move on. Um, yeah. So please do that. I feel like I need to share with all of you that some of y'all know that I am getting back on the dating scene again after two years after my really toxic last relationship. Anyway, I've been working on myself to resolve these things since December okay I worked with a sex love and relationship coach for a couple months and then I started being open to dating in February and now I'm kind of talking to someone anyway this person has been supporting me without realizing it to further work through crap I needed to release and even just like the last 24 hours that I'm recording this, so from Friday to Saturday, um, I started having my left wisdom tooth gum area situation here swelling. And it usually swells from time to time to bring me a message. And it's usually about like certain things. But anyway, um, as soon as I started noticing that this was swelling up last night, I was like, okay, I've got some healing. And I felt throughout the day that I was being triggered by the person that I'm talking to. Not necessarily them doing something. Them, It was them not doing something. It was triggering inside of me. So I was like, okay, I'm feeling weird today. And I have this thing swelling up. There's some healing that has to be done. And on top of that, I decided out of nowhere to shuffle my cards to get guidance for myself because I was like, okay, you know, I haven't done this in a while. Let me just, if, you know, spirit, you got a message for me, let me know. I got this ancestor card and it's all about healing. I can't find it right now. But the point is I was like, okay, confirmation. I know I need to do healing. Then I got on Awoke uh, to get caught up with the daily notifications there. And one of the people on Awoke had posted a weekend card reading and it just so happened that their weekend card reading was all around, um, like ancestral healing, which is what my card was about. And it was talking about like things that were like relevant to my situation and how healing needed to happen, like something deep that I've been struggling with, etc. And I'm like, okay, universe, I see you. I know I got healing to do. <laughs> I see, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. So today, this morning, right? Because last night, like this is something I've been working through for a while. This is something that's been challenging me and I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> I'm like, how much longer? Why? <laughs> you know, but I'm like, no, no, no. Like, I'm committed. I'm going to I'm gonna be done with this. I'm going to show up every day. I'm going to get this done and happen. So all week long, I've been doing different journeys, healings for myself, unrelated to the romantic situation. But I've been showing up for myself because I'm committed to my future. I'm committed to my goals. I'm doing the work. And so this morning I woke up and I was like, okay, 
I gotta do this healing related to whatever this crap here is about because I'm over it. I'm done feeling triggered in this relationship dynamic. Like I'm sick and tired of being tripped up by the same thing <laughs> and I don't want to deal with this. Like this physical situation, like it's gonna have to go. So I sat down, I made the time and I um, did the inner work around it. And I realized how it was connected to a past life and all of these fears around love and relationships, whatever, okay? The point is committed to my success around romantic relationships, my love life, among other things, you know, but it's like deep stuff that I've personally been struggling with and some of y'all here have been struggling with some things too, you know, to overcome things. But I'm tired of getting tripped up. I'm tired of the same thing playing out again and again. So I had to like really commit and show up for myself. And this past week I've been doing that in regards to the situation. And this morning, you know, I woke up and did the journey to further process even more because I'm like, I'm ready to let this deep thing go and like move forward and like find harmony inside of myself already. Like <laughs> heal the relationship with myself because that's basically it. It's like rediscover lost part of yourself. Like I had to go to a past life to see like why this anxiety in me or the sadness or whatever it was kept getting tripped up when it comes to relationships and how it was like a lost part of me in a past life. <laughs> Just It was a crazy past life. Anyway, hopefully that made, that made sense. And I'm not just rambling here. But you know what I mean? Like, this is like the heavy lifting. And I'm doing the heavy lifting. And some of y'all have the heavy lifting to do. And you got to be committed enough to all the amazing things that you say you want to experience in April and that you have the potential to experience in April as per my April reading. Like, by showing up and doing the work and like purging, releasing, getting support with that, like whatever it is you got to do, but you got to release that. And then if it's not like deep, heavy stuff around, you know, your situation, it might be lighter stuff, you know, and you still got to be like, okay, so, you know, why, why do I keep struggling with this or whatever? What changes do I need to move in, make in order to move forward with this thing, etc.? And like, what can I do one step at a time to get there, you know, and just see on this level, you know, what needs to shift and evolve, what you need to release, etc., incorporate more of to align yourself with the things that you're calling in in April, okay? You might have to do a mix of these things because I know I sure do. So see how it relates to you, but that's what I got from these cards, okay? Um, you have to give up stuff in order to create space to welcome in new things, and that's part of this process, Okay? Um, in order to really stand strong in your power, you have to give up the parts of yourself that feel powerless and weak and incapable. You, and that's some deep shit for some people. Okay? And you got to process that to the best of your ability. And let it go and move on. Okay? So I hope that helped you. Um, and then these two cards here. Okay? Um, I feel like, yeah, in April, this week, sorry, this week, um, this is about you trusting in what you're feeling called to intend to achieve and create and realize in April, okay, because they said, like, let yourself be guided by your wildest dreams, so start doing that, like, don't don't be intimidated by your dreams and think like, oh, that's too big for this month. That's too much for this month. Like, just go for it. Just put it out there. Don't put pressure that you have to do it this month. Like, okay, these are my big dreams. Like, how do I explain it? Let me see if I can put it into context. Okay, so if you are part of my Soul Align Leaders group on Awoke, okay? I have a specific community there on Awoke, and I hold once a month accountability calls, and we are actually going to have our next accountability call, I think, on Sunday. Hold on. Let me check. Be patient with me, please. Because if it's tomorrow, dang it, I have not sent out the email. Well, I don't need to. It's on there. RSVP. Okay. Yeah. So I need to basically post this video tonight. <laughs> Yay! Okay. 
basically, um, we have accountability calls there once a month and um, we're holding each other accountable to see how we're progressing with their goals and dreams, et cetera, okay? So with that said, um, one of my goals is to go viral in, on my platforms, okay? And so it, that's one of my goals. One of my dreams, let's say for April, I haven't done this yet, but let's just say that for April, like I wanna see if I can grow my my TikTok account to like 10,000 people in April. And that might seem big to my ego in that moment, you know, cause it's like, whoa, that's a lot, you know? But those are my wildest dreams. It's like, I wanna go viral and grow my accounts to a certain extent to reach certain people with my work. And like, if I feel really called in April to like focus on growing my TikTok to 10,000, like I gotta trust in that guidance. I gotta trust in those wild dreams. I gotta trust that like, that's not a, a, a goal that's too big. And to let that guide me, you know, and see maybe like, you know, when it comes to changes I got to make or whatever, see what I feel called to shift in order to align myself with that goal or that intention. But I got to trust, trust that like whatever I feel guided to intend for April is good. It's perfect. It's exactly what I'm, I'm needing to set intentions around in that moment and to trust that I got this that I will be able to do this, to trust that I will be able to implement whatever changes I got to, to achieve this, right? To align with this. So same for you, you know, trust in your vibes, trust in your intuition as you're guided. Also, like, I feel like I need to say, like, trust in whatever healing you got to do, okay? Um, because if you... If you're not exactly sure what the holdup is in terms of healing, okay? Take a moment to like tune into yourself, ground yourself in your body, connect deeply with who you are and ask yourself like, what is this related to? Or what am I feeling around this or whatever? And just trust in what comes up for you. Trust in what's being released through you even if you don't understand it. Like just trust that that process that's unfolding is enough to start creating more harmony inside of yourself and you know, drop the rest and move forward. Um, and then this one is just a reminder to like, please don't stress yourself out. Don't stress yourself out about the future, about how maybe you've struggled or you have challenges with, you know, realizing certain goals or intentions. You like, don't be hard on yourself. Don't fight the current situation or circumstances. Don't stress out about the changes you got to make like don't make it heavy on yourself like make this process enjoyable anytime you catch yourself stressing out about like oh i got all this healing work to do or like i'm never done or oh my god these changes are so hard or oh my god like whatever this is so much work whatever it is that you like stress or you it's just taken away from your joy or happiness in the moment like please take five minutes to breathe and meditate <laughs> come back come back to the moment, come back to, you know, the thing, because even this past week, like, I had a moment where I was just, like, I don't know, I don't know what I, was going on, but I noticed that I was in the kitchen, and I just had, like, a really serious face, and I, you know, to anyone else, I probably would have looked, like, really angry or something in that moment, and I could just feel, like, just the tightness in my face, and I had enough self-awareness to be, like, oh my god, like, What's wrong with my face? Why am I so serious? Why am I so dull? And I knew I remember like it had to do with like the whole dating situation, like me working through it. But at one point I was just like, I don't have to be upset or serious about this or like so intense. Like I can s let that go. Like I'm not dealing with it now. Like what am I dealing with now? I'm in the kitchen, I'm making food or I'm washing dishes or whatever it is. And life is good right now. And I'm going to focus on all the good things because I don't need to like stress this situation out even more. Like, yes, I'm doing healing around this. Yes, I'm in the process of releasing these patterns or whatever it is. Like, yes, it's something I have to repeatedly do apparently. Okay, whatever. Like, I don't have to like stress myself out about this. Like, I can enjoy the present moment. And when I need to deal with that stuff, I will deal with it. Right now, I don't need to... I don't need to deal with it. I'm living here in this moment. So whatever. And I just let it go. So take this approach this week. Okay. Don't stress yourself out. I really hope that that helped you. 
Let me know if it did in the comments below because I just kind of feel like I was a little bit like rambling today, but whatever. My ramblings are useful. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up here on YouTube as it helps my channel and drop me a comment below letting me know how this spoke to you today. Feel free to share any thoughts, insights, experiences with me here. And again, if you want to join my accountability group, um, we have our call tomorrow. So if you want to join, you have to be a member of Awoke. Again, to sign up to Awoke, links are here in the comments below. Videos to learn more about Awoke are here in the card section so you can learn more about it. Um, but we are having our call tomorrow and we won't have another call for another month. So I'm gonna work <laughs> tonight so you can get this video today. <laughs> And you can get enough notice to, you know, do all these things and sign up and then maybe join us tomorrow. Um, I wasn't intending on posting this tonight, but whatever. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. I will see you in the next video. And uh, I think that's it. Take care. Bye.